Hi everybody, my name is Janet and I am documenting my tummy tuck journey and specifically for women that are um, over 50 who have either lost a lot of weight or maybe it's something that they've wanted to do for some time since they had their last child. In my situation, I had a very, very large baby. Um, I had two kids, but my second pregnancy, I um, I'm short-waisted and he was a 10 pound baby and um, my skin just lost its elasticity so above and beyond stretch marks the skin just really got very very loose it's something that I wanted to do but I didn't really um, put it on its top priority and I think now that my kids are are grown adults um, and I have the finances to pay for it I thought why not Let's go ahead and do it. And I did a lot of research first, watched plenty of YouTube videos, including looking at what the what's done in the procedure. I had many lists of questions that I, um, I wrote down. I did research getting names of people that I trusted from um, sources that um, had plastic surgery. I reviewed uh, those plastic surgeons, made sure they were board certified, look at reviews, and then I made um, appointments to have a consult. So I ended up with two consultations, and um, I would say that the first consultation, I felt like I was just like being churned through, like this particular plastic surgeon didn't, um, you know, it was very cavalier about the process, and Whereas the second one, I like the fact that he um, was, um, he noticed the details and he, um, he asked more questions. I felt like it was more personalized, the, um, the encounter. And my husband came with me for both appointments and we both agreed um, with uh, his approach. We knew that we were going to need to save money and so we made that decision about a year and a few months ahead of time and I wanted to make sure that when I had the operation and the recovery my husband was going to be able to take some time off of work since he's self-employed. So um, I had my pre-op appointment already and um, one of the things that came up for me since I had done some genetic testing is that I actually have a uh, gene mutation. It's called a heterozygous rather than homozygous, means one particular um, gene uh, give, increases my risk of a blood clot um, quite a bit more than the average person. And as most of you may find out in your research with tummy tucks, that um, a blood clot is actually um, it's one of the plastic surgery procedures with a higher risk of blood clot. So I brought that to the attention. The name of the genetic defect is called Factor V Leiden, and he thought it would be a good idea for me just to consult with a hematologist, and they both came up with the idea of me starting on a blood thinner right post-surgery, giving myself an injection, um, or I'll have my husband do it, um, of Lovenox, which is a blood thinner for five days. Um, so I'm feeling good about that. It does increase my chance of a hematoma by 25%. And so that is not um, as risky as uh, having a pulmonary embolism from a blood clot. So <laughs> that we want to avoid. And it's not worth it to go into a plastic surgery and um, not end up living after it. Not worth it. Um, so that's the situation and I stopped taking uh, all my um, herbs and supplements. I think it's a good idea to run through that with your doctor ahead of time um, three weeks ago, uh, including vitamin B, um, fish oil, CoQ10, herbal teas, uh, all that kind of stuff. Just write it all out and um, ahead of time get all the things you need. Get your stool softener, uh, laxatives, your physician, your surgeon will give you prescriptions for your painkillers. 
ahead of time. I have a tendency to get very nauseous, so I am taking something called Amend that was um, also prescribed by my surgeon three hours before the surgery. Uh, that should help with some nausea as well as I'm sure I'll be given things um, post-surgery. Um, I don't see what else. I wanted to make sure that I had lots and lots of bone broth frozen ahead of time um, because that'll help with not only the healing process but staying really hydrated. So I got some electrolyte pot powder too. I've been eating a really um, clean diet, ketogenic diet now for about six months. I wanted to get down to a lower weight to make the results um, uh, worthwhile. I can't say that I lost as much as I would have liked to, but I, uh, I'd say maybe I was able to get nine pounds less than where I was um, six months ago. So I'm having a muscle repair. Uh, the tummy tuck and possibly the liposuction of the the flanks um, and that's going to depend on sort of how things go he's going to do the tummy tuck first and the muscle repair and then depending on my um, I guess my bleeding he'll determine whether it's a good idea to to do the liposuction or not so I will include some before pictures um, Please be kind. <laughs> so if you have something nice to say, feel free to say it. If you have something not nice to say, then why don't you keep it to yourself? Um, I'm doing this because I just thought it would be really interesting for people who are going through something similar than me. I noticed so many videos on YouTube with women who still had young kids. I'm fortunate in that I'm not going to have to run around chasing little kids post-surgery. But, you know, the healing process is different, and I'm 56 years old, and I know that um, I'm not necessarily going to bounce right back, unless if I was 20 years younger. Okay, so that's it for now, and um, if I think of more things uh, pre-surgery, I will um, check in, and feel free to let me know if you have any questions. All right, bye.